Hello and welcome everybody back to Anno 1800, the campaign. It's Cape Upload here from the League of Hundred Many Warfare and yeah, the solid village that we built in the last episode. So, and we have a few quests open that we need to do. So first we need to attract 150 workers, we need to get rid of the abandoned smeltery. There are actually several that we can remove now. So it is time to get rid of all these ruins. Because, well, they are standing in the way. And there are also resources that we may collect, for example, the stone deposits. Yay, we got a few bricks. Well, this matter is taking its sweet ass time. Okay, so again, we need 150 workers. Is everything here going okay? I hope so. You reach a new milestone. Quest solved. New city status. We got a port down. Okay then, I'm happy for that now. Our editorial section is sure to grow along with your city. We are fine-tuning the first issue as we speak. You have father's fortitude. These people will follow you as they once followed him. Okay then, is there another quest going to happen? Your worthless rags have barely covered anything. Now, bring me sails. It's not like you have any use for them. Clearly, Uncle's intention is to keep us from ever owning a shipyard. Apparently, but good. So, four tons of sails, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. But the question is, where are we going to build it? I guess we will do it over here. One, two, three. And time to forward time a little. In the meantime, I guess we don't even need all these bricks. I mean, we have a possibility to spend them. So why shouldn't we? So I guess it's time to upgrade our warehouse. Collect the last goods that are scattered across the island. And let's see, okay, we already got two sails and... Apparently our little schnapps production is not totally keeping up. Where are my sails? You need to wait a second, dear uncle. Nothing you do will lift the cloud. Haven't seen a prison transport of mine, have you? If you do, uh, be sure to return any salvage to me. So we have the choice to save something. So we got here castaways and some flotsam. Saved. Do you also then save us from a grievous injustice? Well, I wonder what the justice he's talking about. Against us are pure fabrication. The man is an imposter. A letter. It bears Edvard's seal. Don't even think about sheltering Samuel's co-conspirators. Deliver them to prison at once, and I might lift your debt. Yeah, because he t seems totally trustworthy, open so we are going to open He's the letter. Really up to no good. However much we despise Uncle Edvard, it's criminal to go opening his private correspondence. Dear Governor Bleakworth, more for traitor Samuel's conspirators. Crimes and sentences as follows. 
Ernest Sterling, use of our language, 16 years with hard labor. Verity Goodhart, impersonation, transportation to the antipodes. Elias Noble, writing a threatening leather letter, life imprisonment. Honora Decent, character assassination, life imprisonment. The judge saw very well my view that any lack of proof that they conspired with the traitor was, in itself, evidence that they are hiding something. All things considered, his verdict could have been far worse. While I am under no obligation to explain such details, I thought that as a fellow dispenser of justice, the facts of the case may be of interest to you. Yeah, this all seems be. a bit harsh. These names are those father trusted most. Barristers, doctors, academics. So we can now send Even these to I Eli. I astonished he could be this corrupt. We must put their cases before the highest authority and hope for a retrial. Or we just sent them to Sir Archibald Blake. He certainly knows how to silence his critics. What is it you are bringing? Did he really? Oh dear. Uh, best leave these poor people with me. I will tell Edvard that the debt between you is quite settled. That was none of your business. And what right has the crown to meddle in my accounts? What right? Well, you brought the crown into this, into this yourself, my friend. We are all of us quite moved by your selfless actions. Your father would be proud. I am so relieved our legitimacy is no longer in question. Hurry! I already smell the tar. See, the masts are swaying from Father's study. So we can now start building things. Well, we actually could before, but first we are going to need some bricks production. Pretty sure building here a little bricks outpost will suffice. Okay, maybe I should use these quick slots. But this is not the only one that we are going to get. I mean, we may have only a small sediment, but. It is a... we still need a lot of building materials for all the production that we are going to build. So we need to plan ahead where we are going to build our train tracks. So of course we will have circled, uh, we will have it circled around our city. And we will have one track go up. Probably from here actually. Into this part of the island and that part. And we will have one go up here. So there's that. And again. Just planning a little bit ahead. I hope in the end it will all work quite well. So that should do the trick. Meaning we also won't need these double roads anymore. Okay then, so we can build a sailing shipyard, but first we are going to increase the size of our sediment a little bit. Mm. So the tracks may also go here. And here we build the second bricks outpost. Now it's time to actually upgrade some of the people living here. And we got here for fertility to also produce bread and sausages. Uh, well, sausages don't really require a fertility, but you know what I mean. Now, question is where? I mean, this bit would actually allow for quite a little bit of farm building.
So up here we will later build a glass production or something that is comparable. I mean we have this area here available as bread farmland. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay then, but we could still need more wood. So while we are not building our second city district here, we can build here the next wood production. We are definitely making some progress, so all these are still rising, the consumer goods. So that is nice. And now we might actually have to start building. Our second city district. Emphasis lies of course on start building so that the wood production there is still not wasted. Yeah, that works and everything is starting to look quite well on our end. Workforce shortage. Yeah, workforce shortage. We are going to fix that, my friend. Oh, and we got a quest over here. It's always the same with old arrows. These are good times. Okay. Could they be help us out, will you, boss? Oh there he is. Not bad. A big and we got some builders tools. Okay, so self-repair will be increased by 300%. That is nice. Okay, do we want to build another bread production? No, not yet. We haven't seen yet if it is actually enough what we are building here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this should fit. Okay then. We're making actually quite good progress here and we were able to actually fit all these houses into this area. Yeah, we might later move these streets a little bit. And we actually will. Yeah, that will work for me. This now seems so much better. And in case you are wondering what just screeched in the background, that is my old chair. 
So, I'll rebuild here a few more houses and leave some space available just in case we get a riot. And here we are going to lead some tracks into a circle. turned into a circle though it doesn't look very great but hey it is not all about aesthetics right so how's here everything doing um we are running a bit low on fish there we got this and how about the rest? Of course, we are sh uh, running short on alcohol now. Like, seriously, how much can these people drink? A farm? We know three. Nice day for it. So that works for me. And we are still quite good on all the money and we are going to increase our production of, you know, work clothing. I just made a little mistake. A good thing we can just, for a little fee, change the position. Get here, one, two, three, one, two, three. Good, so that should work. In the meantime, we are going to build a shipyard. Right, that was here. Our city's historic first shipyard. We must document this moment in our first edition. I'm pretty sure we can do that, so we need to take a photo of a shipyard. snapshot to illustrate history in the making so in the meantime i'm going to increase our storage space because in one of your factories oh, why am i not surprised and the chronicles phoenix rise from the ashes because there's great breakaway shipping company and the image of their father who they say was a man of principle after all there's no surefire evidence he did anything wrong at all chapter two okay so in the meantime, we are going to extinguish that fire. And we'll also upgrade these warehouses. Like your father. Well, the queen is in the direst need of ships. Well, that's nice for the queen. Her, we'll go some way to healing the wounds of the past. What wounds? A My father didn't do anything. Fleet. And in such quantity. A rare honor indeed. The weaponry they ask for presents a problem. I'm not even sure we have an iron load, do we? Nah, not yet. We don't have an iron load yet. So, but now we can actually store a few more goods. By the way, how's the rest doing? All right, we need to repair this. Your city has grown more beautiful. I actually forgot a little about that. But we're also going to need a Game few save. more bricks.
Now that should work. Yeah, all the goods that we are needing are on the rise, so apparently we are doing something not too bad. At least that is what I hope. Sorry. So and here we are also going to get some tracks further so that we can build a power plant here to later fuel the entire production of uh, our coastal things. That should speed things up then a little in the late game. But now we need to find a good position for our sausage production. As you know, people in this game actually like sausages. So there is that. One, two, three. One, two, three. A farm. We know for you. I'll do. So that should do the trick about the sausages. Uh, we don't have much money left. Maybe we should upgrade a few more farmers. New buildings have been unlocked. You can't get on the wrong side of me. Not if you're on the right side. Oh, look at that. We discovered George. Alisa's second island. I see the iron is beyond our reach. We have no choice but to find a way through the mountain. Still have a few sticks of dynamite. We can blow our way through. You will need more than just a few sticks to get through here. But okay, we have enough of workforce, we have enough timber, enough bricks. Perhaps not refined enough for your sister, but at least your workers can start their dig. Okay, they need to get the resources first. Needs to be transported there what before we can actually. What are you both doing? Demolition is a serious matter, wanting proper expertise. Father used Mr. Ticker on account of his good sense. Go on, I suggest you find him in Bright Sands. Oh my god, another search quest, really? Well, he's supposed to be here somewhere. Search for. The demolition expert shop is located in the bleak area near Edward's timber production. The roof of the shop is as red as the dynamite itself. Well, that would be here. Especially with all these craters around. After the picket protest, many fine men left Bright Sands to join you. Then Edvard struck back. He imprisoned all who were close to your father, including my beloved Thomas. My husband and the others were deported to Wormway's prison, and I've heard nothing from him ever since. If you do find him unharmed, Prithee tell him his wife yearns for his return. We are nearing the place your father died. Whatever happens, stay calm. So there you are, the traitor's children. How dare you! Thou spare me the nauseating drivel. Flogging Queenie's peachy island in the new world to some rebel upstarts? Ha! <laughs> Traitor is too generous a word. Father would never have. He was the Queen's stalwart, a, a member of the Royal Council. He... He hung himself in one of my cells. I'd call that a rather conclusive admission of guilt. We did not come here to be insulted. We came to strike a bargain. The demolition man, Thomas. We want him. Oh, I vaguely remember him. Stubborn, with a loose mouth, just as innocent as all the others. He is small fry, 
A bail has been set. Pay every penny of his money, and I will place him immediately at your disposal. I can't think why he'd be worth anything. Everyone here is beyond redemption. Okay, I guess we will have to find a prisoner. A stone pit. Production has stopped. Way Mr. Bleakworth treats us, I don't blame your father for bowing out with his dignity. Traitor or not, Samuel wouldn't have wanted his people to suffer for it. Forget escape. And to what? Edvard's new vision for bright sands. Samuel, oh, there we got him. Engineer. Aye, that's me. Who's asking? Production has stopped. So I guess we now have to go that's with the ship the least over there. I'm or? for my suffering. Hmm. He is ready for transportation. Okay, we don't even have to use our own ship for this. Production has stopped. Oh, that was wrong. Know that any assistance may influence. Keep no, an eye I don't have time for this. For miscreants. Ideally, one should keep one's promises. Okay then. In the meantime, what can we do here? Um, bread is on the rise. Sausage is stable. Stopped. Looks like there's nothing that needs to be done here. Yeah, we can't advance further because we don't l have a steel that is required since it is locked behind that barrier. But this will actually be a great ending for this episode that we are freeing the prisoner. Done. So here we have it. Still waiting for the boom. Okay, we need some yarn. Or is it called like that? Wool, wool, yarn, whatever. Okay, um, and that should actually be quite easy to get in these quantities. So they will produce it quite fast. In the meantime, the demolition expert is being sent over here. Oh, he's here. Try to make a good first impression, eldest. Any friend of father is a friend of ours. So, I'm a commodity now, to be bought and sold. Your father treated me like a human being. I don't know what you're trying to achieve here, but it won't bring Samuel back. Okay then, so in the next episode we are going to create a steel production that works properly. Yeah, this island is still quite small, but it will work for a big... What's the difference? Okay then. So, as always, you hype. Uh, you well, oh, oh, as always, you hyped this episode. Yeah. I hope as always you liked this episode. Please give it a thumbs up if you think it was good. And if you have any feedback, suggestions, or whatsoever, then just type it down in the comments. And yeah, if you want to get notified whenever I upload something new, then but just hit the subscribe button. Never be matched if that's what you're set on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So. And yeah, just subscribe to the channel whenever you want to get notified and just make sure that notifications are activated. And if you want to communicate directly with me and other fans, then you may join our community discord. 
you will find an invitation link in the video description. And with that, I say goodbye and see you in the next episode of the NO1800 campaign. Bye bye!